Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to the finale of Sword Art Online Alicization War of Underworlds. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, no, there we go. Thank God. I know she's just walking around or something. Hmm? Hold up. <laughs> wait, wait. Is she in the back? <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so jumping it. <gasps> oh. But seriously, that was definitely some Chobits. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> But see, if you would have stayed, it would have been awkward. <laughs> Plus, I don't think he wanted to be, like, play footsies with you. I mean, honestly, that was awkward enough last week, and I don't really want to talk about it again. Okay, did you know if you would have just said friend, I would have <laughs> been like, <laughs> no one knows. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh my God, that was such a long time ago. But we're doing. Two. Oh. Smile, oh my God, precious baby.
of course. We all knew this was going to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So then that means she can. I mean, I don't think anything bad is going to happen. It's the last episode, so. It's called a cliffhanger. What, well, Mommy? I'm not even done with the episode yet. Um, I wouldn't really be surprised. Now you gonna tell me like freaking Simo from Gurgan Laga is gonna come? <laughs> Ooh. 
in a spaceship? See, that's got to be like their grandkid. I don't know. Like, why is this not I think, I think if we would have just started with this, we would have been okay. So then they still retain their memories, right? But uh, I don't know.
that's how we have this show. Okay. Let's be glad. No cliffhangers. Because there was no reason to do a cliffhanger anymore. Oh. Okay. This was long. And you know what? I'm honestly okay with that. I, you know, I expected it to be. Oh my god. Maybe. <laughs> but this was a really good season. This might have to be my favorite season because for me, it was between season one and season two, but like this, I think after like the day I went to go see the movie, I, I didn't know what to expect after seeing the movie and the after credit scene, but let's just thank God I didn't read the books because <laughs> I probably wouldn't have reacted to this. I probably just would have sat watched it all on my own. But, I mean, of course, it's not. Mm -hmm. Intelligent? What the? Uh, is this supposed to be Endgame? Uh, uh, hello? Oh, wait, is the... I think that is. That's it, ain't it? But, uh, uh, I mean, see, that's just a Marvel ish. We already knew he was gonna be serious. <laughs> Seriously, I was expecting like a little bit more. Okay, so I mean, this is basically <laughs> indicating that I think we'll kind of he ain't dead, of course. But okay, I mean, this is a really good show. Honestly, this season was just phenomenal. I, I don't care that it took like. How long did this show go for? Like 50, 60 something. 50, 60 something episodes, but it was good. And it's so funny because next month on Netflix, they're finally bringing season three, um, part one to Netflix, even after <laughs> it took me forever to finally put the dub of season two on there. But I'm glad because, I mean, I can watch it now whenever I want to, even though I, am I going to really sit and rewatch the solitary season? Probably because I really enjoyed it a lot. But, I, mm, do I feel like it left on some un unanswered questions? A little bit, but it's, like, not mm, nitpick-worthy in a way. I mean, you know, it's just, like, maybe I need to go ahead and look up some more information. So, also, like, today, a, a freaking sequel uh, spinoff was announced, which is progression. And so, is that supposed to be about, like, awesome as POV of her going into Ironcrad or something because like I saw the trailer two hours ago and I'm like what the heck is this and I have questions because she's the one who was narrating in the trailer and a 30 second trailer which I mean you know what that's just gonna hold us off until whenever like this just gives me so many feels to like when Persona 5 portals <laughs> First trailer came out and they were like, here, we're going to give you a girl with red hair and she's the first year and you're not going to know anything about her. And Atlas is like, boom, here you go. Here's all the juicy information. You're not getting anything else until about three or four months from now. And I currently feel like that. And I don't know how long it's going to take because they they had it for 2022, 11, 6. And I'm guessing that is the day when she logged into Minecraft, I don't really know. I mean, as someone who has not really read these books, I, I have no fucking clue. But I, I just have so many questions about it. 
it's weird how they would go back into Underworld and it's into the future and we're in space, but there's Earth. I thought we would have at least seen Alice's sister one more time before the show ended instead of her from last week sleeping because I wanted a reunion. But no, you kind of was just like, mm, we're just going to slip past that. But mm, I don't know. I loved it. The best part of this show was literally Alice. I'm sorry. She was just the best thing. Her, when it was like, even though, even though Kirito is the main character of this show overall, literally the best arc of it was when Alice finally got to be the lead to get uh, so much character <laughs> development. And it was just like those days on a Saturday and just watching and seeing what in the world was gonna happen next were the best time I was just like oh my god like this is her show now she can do literally we're gonna see whatever the frick is gonna go on with her but still like to have Kirito more in a like minor role and him just being like there was still okay even though he couldn't talk most of the time but just seeing the dynamic and the relationship even in this like last little bit of this episode like oh my god just their relationship and how close they are is just so cute and I can't <laughs> and I still ship it and I don't care because I ship him with way too many people and it's too much because you know I mean there can only be one but you know in a group of harem girls it's just it's too much and it's worse when it's one girl and a whole bunch of guys because it's just like I don't know who to ship them with, but yeah, this was just a really good season, and honestly, I will miss it. Who knows how long we're gonna have to wait until, you know, this progression series comes out. I still hope and pray that we kind of get a second season of GGO, because I miss my child, Lynn, and I would like to see her again. Uh, freaking, I don't remember her name. The crazy bitch who always wanted to get killed. Her. Miss her. I miss everybody in that goddamn show. So hopefully, maybe in the far future, maybe like two, three years from now, they'll do it. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my action view. Even though it's not really the entire series, because, you know, YouTube. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, 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 I'